Hello everybody, Marcy here. I'd like to welcome you to my craft room. I am so excited that we get to play again with some more of these vintage children's readers, the darling images. And thank you, Kathleen, for asking me to do another session. I was really hoping somebody would say so, so thank you. <laughs> so last time we made some tags and pockets and paper dolls. The paper dolls are really a lot of fun. I did just a couple more little things off screen. I made this tag, but then I've added some tag toppers here to the ones that we made. So I think that just makes them look so cheerful. And today we're gonna try to do some belly bands, tuck spots, and then I've got some um, like these little random sacks maybe we could decorate up. And I also have these little cutouts from long ago, scrapbooking days that I ran across I don't even know where they were, but we have these, and so we might be able to do something with them as well. We'll see. All right, so it's gonna be another fun session. I hope you guys don't mind watching more, but um, indulge me, please. <laughs> and then let me know what you guys are using or what you're making. Um, you know, the, the principles that we have here or the things that we're doing, don't just have to be vintage book images. They can be any kind of book images. You can still make your paper dolls and altered paper clips and belly bands, but this is just one style that you can make from various book pages, okay? So let's get started. I have a few little pieces here as well that I cut out for something else and then didn't use. Aren't they sweet? So yeah, we'll just see what we can do and what strikes our fancy. So these are just plain brown paper bags that I got when I got my, my boxes from Your Creative Studio. They like to package things in these and so I thought these might be kind of fun to decorate up. I also took apart some of the pages out of that little children's reader called Splash, this one. And then also this uh, reproduction one of Dick and Jane. You can find these in the thrift stores quite often. I'm gonna cut out this image because it's on the cardstock and so it'll make a nice uh, tuck spot already backed basically. It's already got the stiffness. So I think it would be really fun to just kind of maybe almost treat this like a library pocket. Um, I'd like to kind of put something in here though that, that will keep that from folding up as much. So I have this sweet little girl. She's reading a letter from her grandma. Isn't she darling? And then I have this little stamp that I found at the thrift store, and I'm gonna treat it like a texture stamp just to add a little fun little sprinkling of texture in the background as we go. And we might or might not make some altered paper clips. We'll just see. We'll just see where inspiration takes us. This is our final week as we're getting ready to go on our cruise. So the next couple of weeks, uh, we'll, we leave on Saturday and then the week a uh, week and a half or so after that, uh, we will be on our cruise and I won't be able to answer messages really. They said the Wi-Fi is kind of spotty and so uh, I will try to leave hearts as I can, but it's just, you know, I just won't be able to talk in the comments much. I'm not gonna take my laptop. I will take my Kindle, but when I try to get into my YouTube studio from my Kindle, when I use the Kindle, it just does weird things to the Kindle, so. I try not to use it from there. I try to only look on YouTube my um, my part where I, I'm trying to get this to look just right. The part where, you know, where I access my account and do all of the backdoor stuff, it works better on my laptop, so I won't be taking that. Yeah, so it's not that I don't love you. I'll try to give you a heart as quickly as I am able to, but please, please uh, don't be sad <laughs> if I don't talk to you. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I wish I had uh, my other shade of blue. 
This one's called Salty Ocean. I want to grab the one that says denim. Yeah, faded jeans. I think this will have the right look. And then this is my glue book, but I'm going to stamp off because I was using this for another project. I had pink. I didn't want pink. I want kind of the blue. Let's see. I should keep that here for a sec. And I'm just going to add a little bit of interesting background to this piece before I put it behind her. Blue stick. Yeah, so I think I mentioned in the last video that Tom's cousins were coming through. And they did. Well, they came through. We had dinner with them last night. I made sweet and sour pork ribs. And I have never been to Hawaii, but I was looking up what to serve with sweet and sour pork because I just wanted something different. And it recommended this Hawaiian macaroni salad. Well, I know that macaroni salad is big in Hawaii. I've never actually been to Hawaii yet. And so um, it uses pineapple juice in it and then you put grated carrot and some diced celery and onion. It was super easy. And then a little bit of mayonnaise and Greek yogurt. And it was so good. Now I have a rip right here, so I'm trying to find a washi tape that I can use to kind of cover it up. And I don't know if I want blue or if I want this gray color. I feel like I want something more blue. Yeah, so that was absolutely delicious. It made a lot too, <laughs> for four of us. But um, that was fun. So I made the ribs. I, I have started doing them in the crock pot so that they stay tender. But I need to not put the sauce, all of the sauce in there. Just put a little bit, let the ribs cook in the crock pot, and then, um, and then add the sauce to the top after it's all done. Because that, it just gets too watery. But it was actually, it was really good. Really, really good. And what else did I have with it? I had some sautéed broccoli with um, sesame oil and a fruit salad and rice. So... Kind of a lot. <laughs> My husband was glad that his wife was cooking. Let's see, I need, I need my dauber, and this actually is for Salty Ocean, but since I don't have the one handy for this, I'm just gonna use it in here. And I want to give her just a little, little color around her edge. So she stands out from the background, and then I'm also gonna do the sack as well. And I have colored library pockets, or library cards. They are just not here right now. That's the thing about when you sit down to go where inspiration strikes you, you probably don't have everything you're gonna want to use. <laughs> yeah, so I try not to get up and run around too much. Sometimes it's hard to avoid. There she is. Oh, she's so cute. All right, let's do the sack before I lay her down. I'm gonna try to get, let's just do it that way. I wanted to tuck some kind of paper back there though. What do I wanna put back there? I have to noodle on that for a second. I don't have a ton of stuff sitting right here. I was trying to not, not have a ton of stuff all over the place, so. I don't know. That may or may not turn out to be a good decision. We'll see. Um, I don't want those flowers to transfer. They probably won't, but better safe than sorry, right? Let's see, have you guys read any good books lately or seen any good movies? I don't think I've seen anything since we last chatted. <laughs> since we last chatted about movies. That was a month ago or so. I 
think, did I tell you that we went and saw Jesus Revolution? Really good, really good. That was while we were on our trip. We decided to go see that. I'm really glad we did. Um, but like, we've been, we haven't finished The Chosen quite yet. We still have like two episodes left and then um, that's it until they come out with season four. So we're wrapping, wrapping up season three. I'm going kind of slowly. And we've started watching the one on Hulu called Will Trent. That's actually pretty good. He's a detective with Georgia, or yeah, Georgia Bureau of Investigations. I think that would look okay if I use this one. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna trim it down a couple inches. Anyway, he's got an interesting backstory, so. And he, uh, in the show, he has dyslexia. So it, it's interesting how they portray that with him and how it affects his job and his performance and the workarounds, but he doesn't want anyone to know. But he's very detail-oriented and picks up on a lot of things that other people don't notice. And that's been pretty good. That's narrow enough, is it? Nope. Let's do this side just a little bit. How's that? Oh, very nice. Very nice. I'm getting warm. It was chilly earlier today. Now I'm getting hot. Where's my lid? I lost my lid. There we go. I don't want to be one of those people. <laughs> I have a dish over here, a catch-all dish, so that's what I should be doing is putting things in a catch-all dish. So now I'm going to just try and glue this in there without anything moving too much. Just try to get it secured. Oh my goodness, she's sweet. I feel like it needs a word or something right there, so when I get ready to use it, I'll have to see if I want to add something, or it needs like, um, actually, and this is something I never say, it needs a little bit of um, bling, like little rhinestones or something. Not too flashy, but just something, something cute. Anyway, there's that. Moving right along. Let's do, I want to put this, cute little image on something. God, I feel like I'm a little crowded here. <laughs> and I am. I've got all kinds of stuff. So I didn't know if that would look cute on that as a little bit of a background. Here's the title that went with it. But I like that they're in the rain, you know? It's kind of springtime-ish. So if I do this, let's see, what can I put underneath it? I'm gonna pick up my washi tape here back. What should we back that on? Something plain. So um, some of these big scraps I had for the tags. I'd like it if there was a green one. Or a, well I guess pink would be okay wouldn't it? Because she's wearing a pink coat. Just didn't know. Yeah, that's kind of cute, isn't it? This says rain, cat, rain. The cat cried mew because <laughs> it was stuck out in the rain. I don't like how that looks. It was worth a try. Let's put that there, that there. But, um, try to trim that straight. We'll see. We'll see if that's even possible. See, I don't think it is. <laughs> Not if I have to do it by hand. I don't know why I can't cut straight, but I know I'm not alone in this, so that makes me feel okay. 
I don't know if I just hold it crookedly or what. Okay, if I don't look at that, sometimes that's the trouble. If I'm looking at the word too much, I can't. I have to trim it from the back side. It's like it's not. You can see that it's not. That says stories. That's even kind of cute all by itself. But I want splash. I like that you can tell that they're catching the rain. And so do we want this to be a pocket or do we want it to be like a tag? It's not quite tall enough to be a tag, but I suppose it could be. It's kind of wide. That would be a weird tag, wouldn't it? It could be a tall, narrow pocket. That might be what we are going to be. Okay. I'm going to trim it right about there. the other way for some reason. There we go. Super cute. And splash. Does that need anything behind it, do you think? It needs ink. Should we do pink or should we do this color? Because I do have this color. See that? Wild honey. Let's do wild honey. Let's be bold. Is that the right one? Uh, one of these is marmalade. Hold on. I think I lost one. Yeah, the marmalade is too orange, but I don't see the little stress pad for it and I had it. It was here at one point. Huh. Okay, well, it's not now, so I guess I will just continue on until I hopefully find it. Okay. Wild honey. Maybe we could do this one in the wild honey and the word in the wild honey and maybe do that one in pink. I don't know. I know what it needs. It just needs another like color underneath it. Just a plain one. in the same color. There we go. And what can we put underneath the splash? Oh, I have this little strip left over. We could do that. Oh, that's perfect. Look it. Oh, yes. This is why you gotta keep all those little snippets on your desk for a bit, because you never know when you're gonna use them. Okay, let's not use that yet. Let's do these guys first. I'll put this on. You can make sure I'm in frame. I was doing another video earlier, and. I had to have the camera up so high, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Couldn't see. But now we're back to the normal, normal height, which is good. Let's see, where's my little... Mm -hmm. 
There's that. So just look around your thrift stores. If you're wanting, I think I mentioned this last one, you can go to eBay too. In the last video, I mentioned that you can go to eBay to try to find the readers. Um, you know, the prices are all over the place, so pay what it is you're willing to pay and look at the pictures on the listing for the condition. Um, but you know, just, you'll find one, don't worry. And especially these newer ones, if you want the newer ones that are the reproduction, you don't have to feel as much pressure about taking them apart. And there was a whole, um, uh oh, look what I did. There was a whole bunch of them that came out in the early 2000s, because I bought some for my daughter's teacher. And um, then I bought some later. I think I found them at the thrift store, so I saved a couple for me. <laughs> but um, yeah, there was, I think it was Scholastic that did them. So, and they're kind of a square, square looking. Okay. This kind of reminds me of like the rainbow after the rain. And I did that, but I needed to do not art glitter glue. I needed to do this one, the fabric glue. So now it's going to be really gluey. That's cute, though. I love it. Let me look at it. Very cute. That's a little crooked. That's a little crooked. We want more scrunching. And where's my cap? And then we want to round the corners. And I do think we want to ink the outside of it in the pink. So let's grab the pink. I should just keep this over here to my left. That would be better, wouldn't it? If I decide to later, I can always just turn it into a journal card, round these off and, you know, do the... I could do a journal card anyway, because we didn't do any journal cards last time. We just did pockets. So I could do just some journal cards. Yes, yes I could. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside with that sweet little girl reading her letter from her grandma. I noticed that she was reading cursive. Very proud of her. My niece, who's... 14 just can't read the cursive when you write her a birthday card and I'm a little irritated <laughs> not gonna lie I find that just ridiculous that although I had heard a rumor that they weren't teaching kids to write cursive but I don't know if that's true I don't know why you wouldn't I mean, you still have to write things down, and you still want to be fast when you write them, so why wouldn't you? Okay, journal card. No, uh, belly band. Okay, so I had a few choices. I really like this one. I'm going to have to trim that up. Um, I feel like I had a scrap that would have been perfect for that, but it's not here. This is a cute little squirrel sleeping in a tree the tent, these kids. Let's, um, I found an image of a house. And this guy's going to see the next door neighbor. Oh, and these kids are laughing at the scarecrow. I thought that was cute. Go, go, big black crows, they said, and don't come back again. And I wrote myself a note, said belly bands over here, so we should get that off of there. That's kind of wide to be a belly band, isn't it? If I keep the words. Okay, I'm, I'm leaning towards this one here first to start with. So it's going to need some trimming. 
Maybe that one, because it's got the blues and the greens. It's very colorful. So this is already, I think, six inches wide. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's about right. So if I center this, then um, if I do like a six by two and a half, um, and I center this, then if I need to trim it a little bit to put it in the book, I can do that. And we should probably also ink this one. Okay, what color do we want? Do we want blue? Do we want green? Do we just want... Let's see, I've got pink. I've got that violet would not work. I'm feeling blue. Let's do salty ocean. So it's got a little more turquoise to it. And since I used the pad on the denim color. Hopefully it won't come out denim. I'll just, yeah. I'll just rub it off on here a little bit. Get rid of that first. There we go. I don't remember when I got this, but I do like this shade. Hey, and you know, um, one of my recent videos, and I was talking about how I keep thinking that I have a black archival ink pad, a big one, and I don't. Well, I finally fixed that problem. <laughs> and it arrived. So that's nice. And I also got the re-inker, which I, I like doing so that, so that we know that we have, have enough ink. And you can get like, th you know, what, three, four, five re-inkings, depending. And so it's the same as buying the stamp pad, only you've paid for it twice instead of seven times. Okay, I'm looking for my words. <clears throat> Literally and physically. <laughs> words. I did cut out some words from these books, but nothing that would apply to that. Let's see, I have some really colorful ones too that are fun. Our favorite, I'm trying to look in the color palette. Yes, big day. Or maybe that's supposed to be your favorite, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, there's these, these are cute. These are old too. Got these at Fred Meyer ages ago and they don't even carry this kind of stuff anymore. They haven't for years. This one says Yoo-Hoo. She almost looks like she's calling. Let's see, oh, I thought that was German, Dietsch, Schmite, and then I realized it's Diet Schmite. <laughs> it's like, why are there German words on here? There aren't. Go you, social calendar, all that. Nope. What about, it's all good? It's all good, I could put it right there. Let's do that, it is all good. It's all good. These are old Heidi Swap stickers. Don't go looking because you won't find them. <laughs> Come here. These are super sticky, so I don't think it will need anything beyond what's on there already. It's all good. There we go. There's one belly band. Let's do... I like this one with the house. I really like it. So let's do that. I don't know that I have anything super terrific to back it on. But let me see how wide it is. Yeah, it's almost six inches wide anyway. So I may just back it on something plain and give it some stiffness. Let's 
do that because um, well, that has a wrinkle in it. It may come back to bite us later. Let's do a file folder. I don't know, just something about the house and it looks peaceful. It's all in that sepia monotone or monochromatic rather. Not monotone, it's not talking. Monochromatic sepia tone. Look at this. It just looks sweet, doesn't it? Okay, we're gonna trim that up. It's a super easy one, so. Get that straight, looks like it. Straight-ish, okay, there's another one. Do you think it needs a word? Like love life? Not as in love life, but love life. Oh, there's no place like home except grandma's. How about that? I'll stick that right there. That's cute. <laughs> okay, there's another one done. Let's do some let's do some ink and we can do walnut stain on this one. Man, the time does fly when you when you play with these fun things. I don't know. I don't know why it has to do that. <laughs> why? Why? Okay. What else do we want to do? Oh, I wanted to cut out this thing really fast. So let's do that. I just think it's really sweet where she's reading to them all. She's probably reading them their stories about themselves. I remember, um, well, we didn't read all the time at night. My mom didn't. Once in a blue moon, she would say, let's read a story before bed. And I know that's supposed to make you a good reader, but we were good readers, even though we didn't get read to every night. <laughs> but she would um, start reading, and then she would start yawning. And so then she would have to stop, and I was like, I just want to hear the story. Well then, fast forward to when I have children, and we also didn't read every night because mom was tired. <laughs> and I also would yawn during story time. We did story time at other times of the day, though. I learned, you know, I always thought, like, you had to do the bath at night, and you had to do X, Y, Z at such and such time of day, and then I learned, no, if you're falling asleep while your child's in the bathtub, then you should, it's okay to move bath time to, you know, the morning <laughs> when you have more energy. And it's okay to read, you know, before nap time. That's all right. So we just kind of move things around a bit. There you go. Um, I'm just going to leave that if I decide later to cut out the space between her feet. Then I will, but for right now, it keeps the, um, helps keeps it strong and not get ripped apart. So there's that. That was an easy one. Let's see, tags. Oh, I still want to do this guy. I decided to make him a tag, so let's see what we can do with him. Need to put the clippy back on there. Uh, first, I'm going to trim him down. He's struggling, struggling with those groceries. How wide is that? Three and a quarter. Should I go narrower? Maybe. Maybe just a skosh. Yeah, if I go three with the image, then I can go. Um, I can go three and a quarter with the actual tag. Yeah, 
there we go. And I have a lot of blue. Oh, I have Is that, that teal one. Nope. That would have been nice. That one's not. That one's got a weird angle, so I can't use it for that, but that would have been nice to back it with. I don't have a lot of choices. Not pink, not purple. Blue, yellow, or green, and I don't have any. Well, I have blue. I have a weird color of green. The oddball shade. That might work, though. Plus, what else am I really going to use that on? I don't know. Do you think that's too bold? I do have blue. Dick struggled as he came in the door. Spot wanted to help. <laughs> See, I don't have a ton of options. I have this one. You know, I do kind of like it on the green. Green it is. It does need to be trimmed. It's, I can see it's crooked on one side. Decided three and a fourth is good anyway. He's back. Let's see. There's not a lot of room to decorate around underneath it, so I won't try. He's just going to be very simple. This airing, this is airing on Wednesday, isn't it? Yep. So how's everybody's week going? What all are you doing? And also, I need to remind you to give me a thumbs up, share, and if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love you to consider it. That was all one big run-on sentence. I do want to know how you're doing, though. Just thought of the other one because I have been forgetting to say it lately. It's not good. To give him a round corner at the bottom. I'm gonna dog ear him at the top. There's that. And then I have this little snippet right here that I think would look really nice just stapled on there. It's got the blue and the green. It's not the exact same shade of green, but you know, we're gonna go with it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's this last little bit. So. I'm going to, I always like to do two staples because I feel like it stays on there better. Oh, we had gold. Gold was in the queue and then also I don't have my hammer handy. I like to pound these down and or cover them up with something because I don't want anyone to get injured. I had a teeny tiny little bird, bird image somewhere. Where is it? Oh, it's over there, okay. And even though it has nothing to do with him, <laughs> it's the right size, and I was trying to figure out what to do with it. So, I have my postage stamp scissors handy. It will do double duty. It will look like a little postage stamp, and it will cover the staples so no one gets injured. Well, it's got kind of a... I have to trim that down just a bit. Got that little angled spot there. Are you straight? No, you are not. There we go. Well, tomorrow's Saturday. We worked in our yard last week, which was good. Our yard guy called and said he would like to start, so he did. <laughs> 
Tom's like, well, I've already mowed twice and <laughs> we're having a problem with our grass that we need you to check out. And, okay, what color am I gonna, gonna ink in? Probably the same one. So I'm gonna do him in Salty Ocean as well. Happy. They just make you happy, you know? After this, I'm going to bed. Yeah, um, I started telling you dinner with the cousins. Yeah, they're gonna come back through on Sunday on their way home, so we'll have dinner again. Don't know what, maybe just pizza, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully they're not eating too much while they're out. Um, and then my daughter and her husband, Camille and Jonathan, will come over and join us. So that'll be nice. Because they didn't get to be with us last night. But yeah, if you ever get a chance to try that Hawaiian macaroni salad, you guys definitely should. It was super easy, super tasty. I can see why they put would put spam in it, because you can. I didn't, because I didn't have any, but I could see why you would. Especially the smoked Spam, that would be really good in there. Okay, little birdie. Let's glue you on and you can keep people safe. Some of these fingers will thank us. Yeah, one of Camille's friends um, sent me a text just a little bit ago and said, are you still making junk journals? Because I have some books I'm taking apart and I only want the covers. <laughs> I was like, okay, perfect. <laughs> they're art books. Um, well, not art books. They're books about artists. So um, it has a lot of classic art in them. So that'll be cool. There we go. That's not exactly centered with the staples, but it'll do. It'll do. Cute. Well, let's see, I had a couple of tuck spots I needed to do, but what I could do, it's just a piece of file folder. This is another little bag. And so, boy, we have a rain theme going on today, don't we? I wonder if I'm gonna do any books about rain. <laughs> rain or the weather. There's baby Sally and grandmother. But wouldn't that be cute on there? It's, uh, I'm gonna stick with the blue. The blue is working for everything today. Okay, I keep knocking my bottle of blue over. It's gonna have to stay that way. There we go. And let's put that on there. Let's see, got these little scraps. Oh, just got orange and pink left. Okay, that won't work for that. Oops. Got my window open, it's very still out there. The birds were talking a little bit ago and I was like, why are you guys talking? You're supposed to be going to sleep, it's dark. The same one we did on the other one? No, it's not, thank goodness. Okay. I think I just want to do about that much. And it ends right about, well, it's gonna go right there. Okay. Okay, boy, I got that really far off, didn't I? <laughs> Let's see. I want to draw it on the back but I want it to line up with how these actually are. So we're gonna go, oh, we're gonna go up because we want it this deep, right? Let's go there. I think my nephew in Scotland graduates this year. 
we were trying to get to older nephew's graduation a couple years ago, you know, and then the whole COVID thing. So that's why it was nice to go last year. But now I think, I think Cole is graduating this year. Because they're only two years apart. I really would love to go see their graduation. Everyone keeps telling me it's nothing much to watch, but I'm like, I think I'll be the judge of that. Thank you. <laughs> it's probably a little more formal. The one year we were there, it was graduation time, and all of the graduates from the universities were running around with their robes, and just everybody was so happy. Okay, why? Why? What's going on? Seems like it should fit, but it, it's acting like it's too... I'm going to angle it that way. I'm going to angle it a little bit that way. And hopefully it doesn't look weird when we get it in the pocket. It does, kind of. Okay, there we go. Here we go. This one I'm gonna be brave and just slide it in, but we're gonna we're gonna give it the glue that gives us some wiggle time. Did you see me do that? Okay. There's just like the little corner there was not quite round. Okay, good enough. Good enough. That's very cute. There's another one. And then let's see if any of these will work for that. Or if it even looks good, you know? It might not even look good. There's no telling here. It could go in there though. I know that one's brown. It's not pretty pink, but it's a better shape. Let's ink this one with pink. Get pink dauber back out. I feel like I want something. Okay, this is going to be important to get straight, but I want something there, I think, but I don't know what it would be. What would it be? Okay, let's get this where it's reasonably centered. And then you, reasonably centered. Okay, so if little Sally's back foot heel lines up with that line, it looks like it will be straight. This has the little sticky thingies on it. Self-adhesive squares that I went through the, like, you know, hundreds at a time when I was scrapbooking. I probably will again when I get back to it. Am I ever gonna get back to it? I gave myself a two-year goal in December. Now it's <laughs> May. <sighs> I don't know. I have to give up YouTube if I'm gonna get that done. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna make that work. I know I did ask once if you guys wanted to see scrapbooking videos, if you'd be interested, and I think one person said yes. So, or I just need to devote a day, but the thing is, is then I pick it up, you know, I'm gonna get it out, make a mess, I'm gonna have to put that away so I can do the filming, and then back and forth, so I'm not not sure how well that's going to actually work. Okay, I'm going to go around this in pink because that's cute. Pink and tan are lovely together. And then, um, what should we do here? Thoughts? I welcome your thoughts. That's part 
Okay. Okay, so let's make that a wrap. So let's see what we did. Not as much as I wanted, as always. Okay, there's the sweet girl. And that was a pocket envelope sack thing. <laughs> Here's a pocket pocket with the kids that say splash. There's another little tiny envelope. Cute little pockety thing. Blue is the color of the day, apparently. Here's our tag with poor Dick trying to go in the door with all the groceries. Spot is very interested. There's that tag. Here's a tuck spot. Here's a tuck spot from the book, cut out of the book. And then we have our two belly bands. There's It's All Good and There's No Place Like Home Except Grandma's, which is super cute, actually. <laughs> super cute. All right, let's see. We have a lot of blue today, don't we? Let's do that, maybe. Can you see all that? We got everything in the right, in the frame. There you go, that's our handiwork for the day. Okay, I'm going to read you a quote and it is from Instagram. It's one that I saw on Instagram a while ago. This is a quote from Charles Stanley. He's one of my absolute most favorite preachers ever and he recently passed away. So that's a big loss for the Christian community. He's, he's truly one of my favorite Bible teachers ever. I'll show it up here on the screen while I read it. As you walk through the valley of the unknown, you will find the footprints of Jesus both in front of you and beside you. So think about that. As you walk through the valley of the unknown, you will find the footprints of Jesus both in front of you and beside you. That's our quote from Charles Stanley. So that's it for today, folks. I'm really glad that you hung out with me for a bit and that we were able to do some more playing. Uh, the next video is when we will now work on the layered tags. I promised that in the last one, but then we had the request to do some more, so I'm glad that we did. Okay, until next time, be inspired, do something creative today, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye now.